Okay guys, I'm so crazy excited because I'm finally about to fluff up our home a tiny bit for fall. Now, I don't do crazy out of control stuff, but I do a couple of little things and I ran to the grocery store last night and got all of my decor for about $10. So everything I'm gonna need is to was 10 bucks, which is super fun. So I wanna know as you're hopping on, when do you decorate for fall? We're gonna go ahead and do this at our house. Um, this is what my fall, this is what my dining room looks like in normal, like summertime. So I'm taking this off and I'm just gonna probably put it mostly away. My one trick is that I try to hide things so I don't have so much clutter. Um, and then I'm gonna go just pick this up for fall and I'm using mostly things I have except like I said, the $10 that I've got. The other thing I will tell you is I know lots of y'all are gonna have questions about everything in my space. I will tell you about it at the very end just to make it so that I promise if you have a question about something in the room, I will tell you what's up. The first thing I'm gonna use is a scarf. So this is a scarf that I got from Stitch Fix that I don't wear a whole lot, so I'm doing this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take, this is just a regular table. Oh, I guess y'all need to be able to see it a little bit better. Okay, there's my plain old scarf. If you have a scarf, this is a great way to use one, um, especially if you have scarves that you don't wear very often. One thing that I saw yesterday, I was watching on Instagram, and there's this person I follow, and she just kind of fluffed it like that. So I'm gonna do what she did. I always just find people on different places online and I use them. I also have this old dough bowl. So this is just a really big bowl. Um, I've had it for a couple years and I don't want to have too much clutter so I'm just going to add that right there. What do y'all think? Hearts or lights? Do you guys love that bowl? I don't care if you love it. I love it. So that's an easy one. Then let me show you. This is one of my favorite things of all times. This is a jug. I don't have, there's nothing on it. This is from my mother-in-law's house. She had like about, she had maybe 10 of them. So um, I just grabbed a couple, I grabbed like, well, maybe I only grabbed this one. I didn't grab a lot of big stuff when they passed away and we were getting rid of their house, but I saw this and I thought, you know what? That is such a great thing. And I always remember seeing them on her, um, in her house. So there's that. Then I have an old Ikea vase. I was gonna hope the price is on it so I can tell you how much it was. I've had this forever and ever. If you can find a glass jar like this, they're so fantastic for different things. Hang on, I had this set up last night, now I gotta remember how I set it up. I think this went this way, maybe. We'll play with it as we go. Then I have this, which was a gift. A friend of mine gave me this little guy. It's just a, you probably have one in your kitchen. It's just a butcher, it's just a little cutting board. Um, it's actually from a company in the middle of nowhere in Spencer, Indiana, Two Avocados Design. So if you happen to know that company, my friend gave this to me when I spoke at something for her. So I have that and I'm just gonna kinda set it right here. Okay, I'm so excited about the y'all. I'm so excited because I saw the, I did this last night to test and see if I liked it or not. These are some sprigs I grabbed from Hobby Lobby. Um, they're just different. Oh, by the way, guys, there is a huge giveaway that we're gonna pin in the comments. On passionatepennypincher.com, we're doing a big giveaway this month. So, if you are interested, we'll pin a link. We are giving away over $3,000 in prizes, and I would love for you to check those out. Okay, what are you all thinking so far? Now, this is where I get a little bit picky. I've got two things that I need your opinion on. Actually, let's do the pumpkin first. The next thing, this is what I found at Kroger, and this is what I probably need you guys to help me with. Um, because some of you are gonna be horrified. I'm, I'm trying it because I wanted the color, but I don't think these are gonna be right. I don't think they're gonna work because I'm afraid I'm gonna get fruit flies. I love the colors of these though last night. So let's look, remember I've got this big dough bowl. It's always hard for me to figure out what to fill in this dough bowl that isn't expensive. So I found some pears last night on the clearance rack at Kroger. And to me, they just look like fall. Wait till you see them all done. You're watching me probably saying, Laura, you are crazy as a loon. However, I'm afraid that pears are gonna get fruit flies. And so I'm trying to come up with an option. I don't really wanna spend any money. And I love that these look natural, but am I gonna have fruit flies? Is there something I can do to protect these guys from the fruit flies? There's that little guy right there. Y'all, cause look how pretty that looks. I mean, how happy is that? Then the next thing we have is some pumpkins. Y'all, I have three. Again, Kroger. There we go. One. I love, like, this might be my favorite fall tablescape I've ever done, ever, of all time. So here's my big question for you. I have two more things, so do I leave it at that, which to me is just beautiful and happy and not too cluttered. Just gonna kind of 
one last lap just a little bit. Or hang on one second, I'm gonna show you my other two options. My other option, okay, so how many of you guys think, actually I'll show you the option. So option number one is that. Option number two, remember I had these guys before. I have this from, here's this. I need something to prop this up. Do you guys like the sign? I love the sign, but I don't want it to feel too cluttery. If you don't have, I don't have a great stand for the sign, so I'm gonna guess just do that. And that's gonna become my sign stand. Do y'all like the sign in the background or does it get too cluttered feeling? And then the other thing I have is a candle that I got from Target. And I think it was really cute kind of right there. So what do y'all think? I don't know if it feels too cluttered with both. So hearts, if you like it with the sign, likes if you don't think I need the sign. I have another home for the sign if it's too much and the candle because I don't want it to feel too cluttery. What are y'all thinking? Spray, okay, spray the apples. What was that? Spray the apples with hairspray? For real? I can do that? Can I spray, hang on, I'm reading your comments. I can do that. Spray the pears with hair, VO5 hairspray and let them dry. No fruit flies. Yay, I'm so excited. I looked on Amazon last night and the pears were gonna cost me like 20 bucks and they wouldn't look real. And I'm like, those look so fresh and happy. Um, nice balance of everything. Love the sign, but a smaller frame. Too cluttery, Vicky says. I love it, looks really nice. Okay, so let me show you. Do y'all wanna come see my other option? You really only need a group of three. I know, it's a lot of stuff. Honestly, the one good thing about this space is we do not use this, um, we don't, it's our dining room. We don't eat in here very often, so I feel like I can add a little clutter. But I'm with you, I feel like it might be too much. Okay, so let me show you where we're gonna move the sign to. And really quickly, because I promise, I'll go through where my stuff is from as far as furniture goes. That table, Brefe back there, and this table are from our house loft. Um, they were the best deal I've probably gotten ever. The dining room table was, I can't remember how much it was. The buffet was like a $4,500 buffet. We found the store, there's an Our House Loft store, which is like when their stuff breaks. It was there for, I think like, maybe eight or $900 and we love it. It's the best ever. My uh, lamp is from World Market. Uh, this lamp is World Market, those are home goods. The mirror is at home. This is our house loft also. The chairs are old and I painted them and the big white chairs are Target. So everything I've gotten is pretty, you like it. You like this sign? Okay, too much for the table. Yeah, I'm kind of like, honestly, I even to me, I think this is probably what I'm gonna go with. Let's go use this in the other room. And don't forget, guys, enter to give our win our giveaway over at passionateminipicture.com. I feel like that's just perfect to me. That just makes me super happy. Okay, so come on over here, and I'm going to show you my quick fluffing. That sign, I'll do the rest of it in my family room. Y'all have been waiting on this. I've been waiting. Try, I've been trying to really declutter our house. So one big thing I would just encourage you on is declutter before you start fall decorating because it'll be so much easier to not feel overwhelmed. Let me see if that camera will get you everything we need. Okay. Yep. That'll work. Hi guys. Okay. Wall color. The wall color is, uh, the wall color is just a white. It's just a white. I can't remember. I think it might be Sherwin Williams pure white. Okay. Here is my very simple fall decor. I have this pumpkin. I have had her for many, many years. And she has a little space right here. Ta-da! That's it, nothing fancy. I have this guy, Home Goods, probably $12.99. Also had him for years. So simple. Then, I'm gonna take this sign, and I'm gonna take this little white pumpkin, cause we all know I love pumpkins. And I'm putting them right here. And we'll do this. Done, done. Fall is done. Right there. I didn't. Everything I. The only thing I bought this year was the. I think I spent ten dollars on the fruit. And I'm gonna go spray them since you guys said that. So, there you go. Can you see it up closer? You're still purging. Don't decorate until you've purged. Good girl, Susan. I'm proud of you. So there it is up closer. Um, really, really simple. I saw on Instagram, I'm just gonna be real honest with you, a person that I follow that I really do think is a sweet girl, so I'm not gonna call her name out, but she had, hang on, let me see if I can flip this around so you can see it closer. Okay, here we go. She had done, she just did her house yesterday. Y'all, I really do like this girl, but I'm just gonna tell you, hang on, it kind of looked like 
um, fall threw up in her house. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to feel like that. I need a little bit of fall, a little happy. That's it. So I encourage you do less. Um, you take, put up the candle too. I might put up the candle. Actually, what I might do is I'll just set the candle right over here. But you know what? I can enjoy this because I don't have so much junk everywhere. So let's go walk through. So there's the, there's my fall right there. Anyway, she had a beautiful home, but it was too much stuff. Don't feel like you have to go buy everything. Spend $10 on a couple white pumpkins. This is my bucket. This is everything for fall has to fit into this bucket for me. So there's my fall bucket. You can see I'm not even using a lot of it. So I'll probably purge some out this year. There is this space. I'm so happy with it. What do you guys think? Can on the mantle. Um, there you go. Less is more, less is more. I am with you guys. So there it is. So done. You go overboard at Christmas. It looks like Christmas threw up. Bridget, I know I used to do that and now I've gotten to where I just don't have the time to manage it and it feels overwhelming to me, but, um, I am definitely going to do the fruits, the hairspray on the fruit. You guys saved my day because I was like, look how happy that looks. I really didn't want to get, like I saw a bunch of cluttery things I could do and I just didn't like it. She probably did like it, Carter, and it is very over the top. Like, I'm not saying it's bad. It was just, I just felt very stressed when I was like, how do you eat in that house? So anyways, this is what we're doing, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Take a few minutes. Do something beautiful to your home today that just makes you feel special. Um, declutter first, y'all. Remember, I decluttered a ton and then hop on and do something new. I am, Please don't say that on Christmas. Less is more on Christmas. Less is not more on Christmas. Jamie, I know. I Well, I think it depends on where you're at. I'm feeling less is more lately, <laughs> personally. You need more on the fireplace, getting out. And I think that's the other thing is you have to figure out what you need to do for you. Um, like I, somebody just said, move to the, move the dough bowl here. Let me let y'all walk back to me. I could move the dough bowl back, but I don't want a whole lot of clutter in the back either. Um, so yeah, the, what color of the walls? I actually matched them to a pillow. I don't have them anywhere. I wish I did. Um, yeah, I wish I had it. Basically, let me tell you a quick tip on those. I, oh, you can see me in the mirror back there. Um, all I did was I took a pillow that I loved and I took it to Home Goods and I had them match it. So it was super simple. You guys have an amazing day. I'm so crazy thankful for you. Thanks for hanging out with me. And guys, go to passionatepennypincher.com. There's a link for a giveaway on passionatepennypincher.com. We would love to see you there. We're giving away over $3,000 in prizes and I would love for you to win. Y'all have a beautiful day. We will talk to you soon. Bye guys.